In this video we'll make a head-to-head -head comparison between Bose Ultra Smart Soundbar and Sony HT-5000, two soundbars that offer immersive and powerful sound for your home theater system. We'll take a look at their sound performance, smart features, connectivity options and pros and cons of each soundbar. In terms of sound performance, the Bose Ultra Smart Soundbar and the Sony HT-5000 are excellent sounding soundbars, but they have different strengths and weaknesses. The Bose Ultra Smart Soundbar is a 5.1.2 channel soundbar that supports Dolby Atmos. Unfortunately, it does not support DTS or DTS X sound formats. It has a balanced and neutral sound profile that can handle most types of audio content, from dialogue heavy TV shows to music and movies. It also has a wide and spacious soundstage that creates a realistic sense of directionality and immersion. This soundbar emphasizes warmth and clarity, delivering a nuanced and natural soundstage. It utilizes Bose's true space technology to create a wider sound experience, but it may lack a bit of low bass, which means it may not reproduce the deep rumble and thump in action scenes or bass-heavy music genres. You can add a wireless subwoofer and rear speakers to enhance the bass and surround performance, but they are sold separately and can be quite expensive. The Sony HT-5000 is also a 5.1.2 channel soundbar. It boasts immersive Dolby Atmos and DTS-X support thanks to its up-firing drivers and acoustic surface audio plus technology. It delivers powerful, detailed sound with strong bass, suitable for action movies and music with heavy low end. The soundbar comes with sound field optimization, which automatically optimizes audio reproduction based on your room's unique acoustics. With this feature on, and its vertical surround engine feature, it has a pretty neutral, though slightly U-shaped sound profile that adds boom in the bass and brightness in the treble. It's suitable for listening to many different types of audio content. The HT-5000 can be expanded with the optional ESA SW5 subwoofer for enhanced bass and the ESA RS3S wireless rear speakers for a true surround sound experience. In terms of dialogue, the Bose Smart Ultra Soundbar has a decent performance. With its unique AI dialogue feature, the soundbar automatically adjusts its sound to enhance dialogue in your audio content. The Bose Smart Ultra Soundbar boasts a well-balanced stereo response thanks to its Adapt IQ Room Correction technology. This translates to clear and crisp dialogue, ideal for podcasts and news. However, its brightness can become tiring during extended listening, especially for content rich in sibilants like cymbals or S and T sounds. Instead of relying on separate tweeters and woofers, the Bose Smart Ultra Soundbar cleverly packs most of its speakers in the center with dedicated height channels on the ends. This central setup also provides some bass, although a separate subwoofer remains the true champion for low-end rumble. Thanks to unique features like face guide and true space, even stereo content transcends typical left and right channels, creating a more immersive experience. True space cleverly separates sounds within the content, placing them at different points around you, while face guide uses clever audio beaming to widen the perceived soundstage, filling your room with sound. The Sony HT-5000 delivers clear, natural sound across a range of content. Its built-in microphones work with the sound field optimization feature to tailor the audio to your specific room, balancing sound for a neutral response. Think of it as having a good foundation sound. Plus, there's a slight boost in the bass for more punch during explosions and intense scenes, while vocals and instruments remain crisp and bright. However, if you crave bone-shaking bass that makes your walls tremble, this soundbar might leave you wanting more. Action movie enthusiasts might need a separate subwoofer for that extra low-end rumble. If this video is helpful to you, a subscribe would mean a lot to me. That tells me that I am building an audience and that I am creating helpful content. And don't forget to like this video as it helps reach a wider audience and really supports the channel. Both soundbars have a wide range of connectivity options. Connecting to Bose Ultra is easy with an optical and HDMI port available. If you want to crank up the bass, a dedicated subwoofer port is covered too. However, keep in mind this soundbar doesn't act as a central hub for your devices. It lacks a full HDMI and port, so connecting multiple players directly is impossible. Beyond audio connections, you'll find additional ports for specific purposes. There's an Adapt IQ port for using the included headset to optimize sound for your room, a USB port for troubleshooting, and a data port for technical service. The Sony HT-5000 has lots of physical inputs. Thanks to its HDMI 2.1 support, it effortlessly handles high-resolution video at frame rates up to 120Hz. This means you can enjoy crystal-clear 4K visuals, perfect for fast-paced action on your compatible consoles and PCs. A recent firmware update unlocks even more gaming goodness. It adds support for both HDMI Forum VRR and ALLM, 
These features work together to eliminate screen tearing and minimize input lag, giving you that crucial edge in competitive games. It also has an optical input and a USB port for service updates only. Looking at the smart features, both soundbars have built-in voice control using Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, which allows you to adjust the volume, change the input, play music, and access other smart features with your voice. They also support AirPlay 2, Bluetooth, Chromecast, and Spotify Connect for wireless streaming from your devices. They both have companion apps that let you control the soundbar settings, adjust the EQ, and access various sound modes. One of the unique features of the Bose Smart Ultra Soundbar is the AI Dialog Mode, which uses machine learning to analyze the content and balance the voice and surround sound for optimal clarity. The Soundbar's AI Dialog Mode works well in enhancing the vocal clarity without compromising the surround sound. The Soundbar automatically adjusts the tonal balance based on the content, making it easier to hear what people are saying in different scenes. The Sony has a calibration feature called Sound Field Optimization, which uses built-in microphones to measure the height and width of your room and adjust the sound accordingly. Furthermore, it has Sony Music Center app integration, which lets you access various online music services such as Tidal or Deezer. When it comes to the design of the bar, Bose Smart Ultra boasts a sophisticated look with its tempered glass top, exuding a premium vibe. Plus, the angled cable connectors make setup a breeze, no need for awkward flipping. You can choose from black or arctic white to match your style, while the HT of 5000 goes for a clean and simple aesthetic. While it uses a solid plastic build with a metal grille for a more robust feel, the top is plastic, unlike its bigger brother, the A7000. Up-firing drivers also sport metal grills instead of fabric. Both, the bar and its optional rear speakers share a rounded, unified design inspired by Sony's omnidirectional block concept. If you have stayed with me until this moment, it is time to list some of the pros and cons of the two soundbars. Looking at the Bose Ultra Smart Soundbar, some of its pros are Dolby Atmos support, balanced and neutral sound profile, wide and spacious soundstage, adapt IQ room calibration, Bose Simple Sync technology, cons, no DTS-X support, lacks low bass, no HDMI in port, no HDMI 2.1 features, limited connectivity options, not many sound customization features, Looking at the Sony HT of 5000, some of its pros are Dolby Atmos and DTS-X support, HDMI 2.1 feature, up to 8K video pass-through resolution, room correction feature, dialogue enhancement feature, subwoofer level adjustment, cons, no bass and treble adjustments, no graphic EQ, disappointing surrounds performance. Ultimately, the best choice depends on your priorities. For balanced sound with clarity and warmth, choose the Bose Smart Ultra Soundbar. For immersive surround sound with powerful bass, choose the Sony HT of 5000. For multi-room audio and smart features, lean towards the Sony HT of 5000. For a compact design, consider the Bose Smart Ultra Soundbar. I recommend listening to both soundbars in person if possible to get a feel for their specific sound profiles. Remember to consider your specific needs, room size, and personal preferences when making your decision. Both soundbars offer exceptional features, so choose the one that aligns best with your requirements. For buying options and more information about this soundbar, check the links in video description, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Now, check out my two next videos. See you soon.